on the last part of our tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to create a simple cloth covering for your sword. Uh, what I have here is I have half a yard of uh, any kind of cloth that you want and I have my sword laid on top of it. And what we're essentially going to be doing is we will be folding part of the cloth on top of each other and we're just going to sew along the shape of your blade. After you've done that, you're going to turn your cloth cover inside out and tape it to the sword itself. And that's how we create a sword cover. So on to the actual process. Alright, so the first step that we have to do is we need to pin the cloth together along the edge of the sword. Uh, what this does is it will create the shape that you want and it will let you know exactly where you need to sew. So what we're going to do is we are just going to put pins all the way up along your sword creating the desired shape that you want. Okay, so the last part will be the hardest to pin uh, because this is where your blade actually curves. So try to pin it as close as you can, uh, hugging the curve of your sword. Okay, now it looks like we have our general shape of the sword completely pinned. Um, so now you can actually pull the sword out of your cloth cover, like so, and now you have your cloth cover. Now you just gotta actually sew it together. Alright, so now that we have our cloth entirely pinned, we want to uh, cut away the excess of a cloth uh, at about a finger width. This will give you plenty of space to sew still, and it will cut away all the cloth that you do not need so you can save it for the next one. While you're sewing, you want to be careful to actually sew on the outside of your pin. Uh, depending on how close you pin your pins to your sword, if you sew too close to the pin, you actually won't be able to fit your sword through the sword cover. So just be aware of where you're actually putting your stitches at and where your pins are actually are. So this will ensure that your sword cover actually fit your sword. And we just got to sew the entire length of your sword cover. Okay, so once you finish sewing, hopefully your sword cover will look something like it should. And all we have to do now is turn the sword cover inside out so your stitches are hidden from view. Uh, at the same time, you'll have a beautiful sword cover on the other side. Now I've put some double-sided tape on my weapon. Uh, you can buy double-sided tape from Walmart. Those are actually carpet tape. So what we're going to do now is we simply slip that sword cover over the sword and uh, it will be taped by this double-sided tape. And once we do that, we are going to get the cloth tape like what we've been using and we're going to actually wrap the bottom where the sword and the cloth meets. That way it will be secure. Alright, so for the last step, once we have our sword cover in place, we want to take our cloth tape and do a couple loops of it on your blade. And this will ensure your cloth cover stays still. Okay. And your sword is now complete. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you learned something. You can use this technique on several different types of weapons as well, the axe included. Uh, so go out and have fun and enjoy your brand new sword.